this is just further proof that Pedro and his family were doing spell work on Chantel this entire time. A voodoo Santeria love spell was placed on this child. So much wasted time, so much wasted money. You worked two or three jobs just to bring him here, girl. Like, oh my God. You did, you did work three jobs to bring his smelly ass here. Well, that was a bust. I told you to leave him where he was. Pedro was scamming Chantel the entire time from the day that she met him to the day that he left that house and abandoned her in it and left her all by her lonesome. He and his family devised a plan to get an American woman, get them to marry, and to bring him to the United States of America so that he can gain access to the American economy. Then he can therefore bring his entire family up off of one woman, one strong woman, I must yes. say, off of Chantel. But there is a power stronger than he that he knows not of yet. But he will. Alas, he will. I knew from the jump that they were scamming since the very beginning. I knew it. I knew for the jump because I told it you it was no good. I'm glad you're out of that situation. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm definitely glad. He wanted to take all the money. I said, let's do 50-50. But even giving him 50-50 oh, no. is everything. It should have been like 99 one. I wish I could have been you, because that boy wouldn't have got nothing. I told her, no, do not settle. Take him to court. You should have taken that scammer to court, because you should have gotten alimony and the house, how dare he come in and tell you, I'm going to divorce and I want the house. How dare he? How dare he? Do you have to see this dip wide ever again? I have to see him at the realtor's office so that we can sell this house. I don't know how you do it. I don't want to see him again. I don't know if it's you, gonna you, bring back old emotions. Yes, I don't it's know gonna if it's bring gonna back bring some back emotions. Anger. Bring I don't a know if I'm gonna argue, you. flip a table. I, I don't know what. Don't do any of those things. I haven't seen him. Don't don't ever lower yourself flip beneath things. him. May I because have I have cried so much. I don't know if I have any more tears left. You don't. Uh, D you don't need to cry anymore. I don't know how I'm gonna handle it when I see him. Are my shoes over here? They are not over here. I'm so pissed about Pedro and attitude from the meeting with the realtor. I feel like selling this house and having to deal with Pedro is going to be worse than I expected. And now I'm a 32 year old woman living at home with my parents. The divorce is bad enough, but moving back in is the icing on the cake. Where's my damn shoes? Literally. I love my parents. I love them, I love them, but they are constantly talking and talking and talking and talking. Is this going to be enough eggs? Well, because we can get more. We maybe more. more, OK. Is that bouillon, or whatever you call that? It's bouillon. I tell you, it smells interesting. It's delicious and interesting. Talking and talking and talking. Bull, bouillon? Oh, God help me. It's Thomas, it's, it's bouillon. OK. Sometimes I need some alone time. I'm not getting it in this house. Good morning. Good morning, dear. Good morning. Hello, Both good our morning. daughters are here. Hi, hello, ladies. Oh, wow. How did you sleep? Um, I slept. You did? Yeah, but it's a twin bed. It's a lot smaller than I'm used to. Having Chantel and Winter living back at the house it's, it's been quite an adjustment, but I will have to say it's been a pleasure. I still remember the first time that you moved out with him, with a lowercase h. She got the apartment herself. She got his immigration papers herself. She bought his plane ticket herself. She gave him everything, everything. But that's just what he wanted. Chantel should have listened to my warnings way back then because mama knows best. Hindsight is 2020. For real. Back then I was young, I was naive. I wanted to trust in my husband. 
because I loved him. Mm. I've had it up to here with seeing how hurt Chantel is by Pedro and his usury nine months ago. I heard Pedro, he said, this means war. And I said, fool, don't you, you, do you know who you talking about? Fool, you ain't seen no war. I don't want people to think I'm violent. But as a mother, I have to protect my baby. <sighs> by any means necessary. Oh, by any means necessary. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do. Kia! I tell you, it's a little rush hour traffic. It is. A little slight. Right. I'm known as Mama Bear, and I'm known for protecting my cubs. Pedro has really hurt Chantel, and I don't think that he should just walk away scot-free. He will get payback real soon. Trust me. He thinks that he is untouchable. I think he does. Yeah. Crooks think nobody's watching them. I, I can tell you there's always somebody watching. Now that Chantel has been living back at home again, and I see how hurt she is, that just fueled my fire to prove that he is a lying cheater. Thank you. And I want to prove that I was right about Pedro and his family all along. Hi. Hey. Hello, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Thomas, you. Thomas, Sam, how are you doing? It's nice to meet yes, you. Good to meet you guys. Well, have a seat. Let's see what we can do to help you guys out. Thank okay. you. Give me a little history here. After uh, the first year, mm -hmm. and we were already, we was always skeptical about his intentions and of why he's over here. But a year ago, my daughter and my son-in-law had just bought a house. She thought that they were buying the house so they could live together, start a family, yeah. and be together. Yes. But that's when it all changed. Suddenly, he decided he was interested in becoming a real estate agent. Next thing you know, he's staying out late with his co-workers. Mm -hmm. He's coming home drunk when he does come in because he was training with the co-workers at the co-workers' house, training in restaurants, training in the clubs, training everywhere. Right. Then one day, he comes in and what he says to her is, I don't love you. I want a divorce. My intention of going to the PI is, I think that learning what the PI finds will give Chantel closure. But I haven't told Chantel about the meeting with the PI because I know that she will get mad at me. Chantel, she really wants everything to be done with. I know that Chantel is going through turmoil about this divorce and the way Pedro treated her. But as a mother, I, I have to protect my baby. And I'm always right, which I am. I'm never wrong. I'm never wrong. So I have to do what's best for Chantel. And one time, he and this girl was out kissing and swinging it. Karema. Right. You need to investigate that. I have so great time. Bueno, bueno. Thomas, if you saw me lap dancing on a man, swing, getting swung around, him grinding on me like a private dancer, what would you call that? I would call that cheating. I think I would. Sounds like you got a Casanova, or you feel like you have a Casanova on your hands. Is that Yeah, that I, I, I think I feel like that. Uh, we have done several cases in the DR, so we're familiar with research down there. So what we oh, would okay. do is, is look into him. But we're going to get as much information as we can. One of the, the things that's really good in these type of situations is to go out and interview. Is there anybody that you know of that he might have angered or broke a heart or two along the way? Why, we yes, can get that why yes, I okay. guess. Yeah, you help your daughter, you know. Yeah. Pedro, he used our daughter for seven long years. He got money, a green card, access to the entire American economy, but the buck stops here. Nobody messes with our daughter anymore. After you. Okay. While Chantel is out on her blind date tonight, 
Winter and I have a little business that we need to attend to. So tonight, we're meeting with Pedro's sister's ex-boyfriend, Alejandro. Ooh la la. Pedro made an enemy out of Alejandro a couple of years ago when he picked a street fight with Alejandro. No room away. You man. So maybe he wants to spill the tea on that whole twisted, demented family and the scam that they played on Chantel. Well, what time do you have? It is 6.01. How, how fast can you take off your shoes in case we need to do something? Really fast. OK, good. After waiting here in the cafe with Winter for half of an hour, and Alejandro is yet to show up, I'm thinking that there must be something fishy going on. After all, he is Nicole's ex-boyfriend. The clock is ticking. Where is this sucker? Now this is making me a little uncomfortable. He is not here. Uh, and he's wasted my time. I'm not playing. Just wait. If he doesn't come, he's a <laughs> bitch. Hey, good morning. Good morning. Did you ladies sleep well? Yes. How did your date go last night? He was very kind. Did he like show that. you the Quan? What's the Quan? What do you mean? The Quan. What is that? What? Well, I mean, um, he did pay for our date. We didn't go 50-50 on it. Good. He was cute. Well, that's a start. That's a start. I will say that's a start. Tell me about Alejandro. <gasps> oh. We went to the nice cafe. It was wonderful. The drinks were so delish. We waited, but he didn't show up. He was a no-show. But he reached out to, to the PI. What did he say? Hey, Ms. Karen. This is Tim over at TriStar Investigation. I know you were supposed to be meeting with our friend Alejandro up there in New York. Well, I just got a message from him, and it seems like uh, Alejandro has been communicating with Nicole. He said he can no longer meet with you. <laughs> I apologize, but sometimes this happens with these Dumbass cases. son of a bitch. We'll keep on digging. Alejandro is a scammer just like Pedro is. They're all working together to get the dinero from... Americanos. Americanos. Maybe this and... is just, you know, a lesson. Well, it's not a lesson. It's, a, it's a good sign. we should leave it alone and just leave move on. it meaning what? No, what, what, no meddling. What Let's just... Move on. I feel like it would be best if my mom would just stop. She thinks that it's going to help me heal and to move on, but I think that I want to move on in my own way. And ultimately, to move on, I do need to gain some type of closure. I just don't know how to go about that. What's going on? We just got a package. Come, no, d let them let them see. Let them see it first. Let them see what's going on. I'll let you see it first. So we got this package from Santa Domingo, and uh -huh. it's voodoo in, in there. The package was sitting outside. It, I voodoo. brought it in, and then it's a bunch of weird in there. I wish you would move it a little further away from the door. It really stinks. Move it a little yes, further away, from, away the from the door, Karen. It's going to stink. Mom, mom, mom. It's scared me. I don't stop, need stop, I don't stop, want to. All right, light it up. When someone devises to curse a person or people using black magic, it's very serious. And I just know this has to be something from Pedro's fishy witches. One thing we don't do, we don't mess around with none of this stuff. And that back to where it came from. It came from hell, it's going back to hell. Oh my God. I knew they were witches. I knew it. This is just further proof that Pedro and his family were doing spell work on Chantel this entire time. A voodoo Santeria love spell was placed on this child. Because there's no freaking way this girl would have gone for over seven years 
putting up with that crapola, letting him tell her that she's not pretty, that she's not worthy, do all this other bull There's no way.